application of intensity. Macho Man Randy Savage. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds. Macho Man Randy Savage. If you want a blueprint for how to be one of the top superstars in all of sports entertainment, look no further than the Macho Man. Not even that, Byron, but consider the amount of influence that Randy Savage has had on the entire sports entertainment industry throughout the years. A real trailblazer, the Macho Man. The madness, as always, in peak physical condition tonight. Uh, it must be the meat snacks he eats. music, the bad attitude. Is this really John Cena? Seeing Cena wearing the NWO black and white, something just isn't right about this. The NWO didn't play fair, but John Cena always has. Has he? Maybe Cena didn't realize just how much power and influence he always had. Maybe he's always been NWO for life. his opponent tonight. Oh yeah, the cream of the WWE. Randy Savage is one of the most energetic superstars to ever step into the ring. His flamboyance aside, the Macho Man has everything needed to rise to the top. Often imitated, but never replicated. Macho Man has influenced many that have walked in his footsteps. Well, it's all well and fine, but he's still facing off against John Cena, whose strength and perseverance are kind of unmatched. Yeah, you have to be prepared to match Cena any way you can because he definitely isn't going to take any shortcuts here. Ah. Kick right to the midsection. With the counter. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Up to the top rope now. He's positioning himself, closing in. Up high. Now wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? Come on now. What is this manager bringing out? He should revoke his license for this. Savage avoids damage. And that was an efficient display of offense for that maneuver. Elbow drop. Piercing. Big elbow. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, Cena came prepared for a big fight. And he's really bringing it now. Savage is running to trouble. And I think Cena's got more in store, too. Boom! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Great counter by Savage. Randy is going to look to press on the advantage. Yeah, but Macho Man needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, got to get back in the ring. It was almost a count out. Back and forth we go. Oh, fucking a script out in there. He was getting ready to turn about the pad. Both in two outs, acting like a cop. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Cena plans in motion. 
from the top, the leader of the C Nation. Cena giving us all the taste of one of the five moves of Doom. That is just pure instinct at this point. He's able to sidestep there. Sent flying. Ooh. Grabbing a hold of the arm. John Cena not looking so at home after taking that hit. If the Macho Man can produce more of that, it might get the job done. Oof. Back elbow puts a stop to things. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. A sound suplex. Oh, what a knee! Momentum on the side of Randy Savage. Cena's just trying to weather the storm. Pulled in from belly to belly. I'm not sure this is going to work. Please don't hurt me. Wow, what a strike to the back. Hoist it up. of Cena. Oh, that can shatter a jaw. Cena is unable to stop this string of offense. Yep. From way up high. Crash landing. John Cena. Driving into the counter for the attitude. That's the cut. Savage going to need a miracle. Oh, no, my. That was close. Savage will not stop fighting. The Macho Man doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. And now Cena can't waste any time. That wasn't the outcome he expected, but he has to remain the aggressor. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. So you can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's expressing pain now. For the win! And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Springboard stunner by Cena. A step ahead of Savage. This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. Incoming. He's looking to do some serious harm. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Turning, he thinks he has it. Cena's still in it. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. the face. That's not right. Stop in the leg. Oh, what a strike to the back. Well placed kick to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick.
Cena warning him off. Gets him with the counter. We're about to see it. And a two adjustment. Cena connected there. Two. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, John Cena. A big victory here tonight for John Cena. John Cena just doing what he does best, facing the challenge head on. Gentlemen, we are about to see a wrestling clinic. Here comes Brutus Creed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. You look at a guy like Brutus Creed and you see a hybrid athlete with classic ground and pound fused with power. And a superb mat technician to boot. Brutus is the real deal. Ah, oh, now it's a party. Come on, everybody. Throw your hands up. Please Throw stop. Hands up. Please and stop. From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rakeem. Not only an all-time great, but the father of Jimmy and Jay Uso. The real person responsible for their tag team prowess, Saxton. And their dance moves, too. Hey, guys, you think Rikishi would give me a dance lesson? Absolutely not, Saxton. With any luck, you'll get a stink face. No, no. Rikishi wouldn't do that to me. The thing about Rikishi, guys, is he loves to have fun, right? But he's all business when the bell rings. That's the best part. Once the music stops, Rikishi, one of the most threatening superstars in all of WWE. Here we go, and we're ready for action. You can tell Brutus Creed is not here to waste any time. The power is real, Michael. We've seen Brutus rip the door off a steel cage. That's an insane amount of strength that you do not want to be on the receiving end of. He's driven to be the best and prove that Brutus... A bear hug. Furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes! Uh-oh. I oh, had that well scouted. Draped across the top rope. His shoulders are down. No shoulders up at two. That was a long two count there. Oh, torturous 
nice knee. Grabbing a hold of the arm. And that was a well-executed attack. Now Rikishi has the firm upper hand. Yeah, Rikishi isn't giving any quarter. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Take off. Whoa, what a landing. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. In your estimation, Corey, what's the most important thing to keep in mind when matching up against Rikishi? You have to look past the dancing and remember that Rikishi's an athlete. He can be fast and he can hit hard, so you've got to be prepared. Don't make the mistake of underestimating this bad, bad man. Nice Ooh. reverse fireman's drop. Perfect technique from Brutus. Amateur skill and professional aggression. They should show that in tape study at the PC. Count out maybe imminent here. Really testing fate right now. From way up the top, down. Get him into the corner. Crushed in the corner. That was more splatter than splash. Scooped up. Here it comes. Rikishi may have put the exclamation on this one. Two kicks out, just kicked out. I can't believe that this whole arena is in shock. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Boom! <laughs> Shoulders down! Getting that shoulder up now is huge. He's taking this to the floor now. Counter by Brutus. Takes their opponent down. Now just teeing off a series of hammer fists raining down. Left by the turnbuckles. Yeah. Oh! Climbing to the top rope. And he has an answer for Rakim. Launching, diving, shoulder tackle. He may get the three count right here. I think so. That'll do it. The victory tonight. Here is your winner, Rudis Curry. Rikishi may have to go back to the drawing board after this one. Rudis Creed put his power and talent to work here, and it sure paid off. It's time to get a scream. Here comes the Sandman. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia. Weighing in at 240 pounds. The
Wherever the Sandman goes, the ECW faithful will follow. Yeah, the Sandman is a hazard to opponent's well-being, sometimes even to his own. But he defends the honor of ECW with every breath and every swing. A former ECW Tag Team Champion and World Champion, Sandman's name is engraved in the rafters at the ECW Arena. Sandman is a guy who quite simply refuses to conform and demands victory by any means. You will find no rules, no mercy, and no protection from the Sandman. A true blue chip prospect. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 255 pounds, Randy Orton. Orton has all the tools, the talent. Someday, he could be dominant. Extremely high expectations for this young man. from WWE Developmental. Randy Orton looking to continue his trajectory here tonight. Yeah, Michael, it's no surprise that a third-generation superstar has been performing the way Randy has. I'm excited to see if he follows in his father's footsteps or forges his own path. We're all excited to see what path the young Randy Orton decides to take, Byron. And he's facing one of the most extreme we've ever seen, the Sandman. Well, Sandman might not be the most technical superstar in the world, but that hasn't stopped him from obtaining championship gold through sheer toughness and grit. The kind of things that can only be learned on the mean streets of Philadelphia. Randy Orton has so many different ways to attack and punish his opponents, but Corey, what do you think will be Orton's greatest strength tonight? Well, it's got to be Orton's ability to be three, four steps ahead of any opponent. Orton's as cerebral and methodical as they come, and that mindset is the key to victory in this one. The Viper shows his instinct. Orton saw lights after that attack, but it wasn't his name. Sandman showing an aggression that won't be contained. On the top. What? You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Orton letting his opponent know that he can't stop him now. Got to find a way to get out of this. Lands face first. He switches it back around. Cover. Shoulders are down. He narrowly avoids the count. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Target in the stomach to reverse that maneuver. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Yeah. 
He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Ref, ref, come on, ref. You can't allow that. Just a sure sign of desperation. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. Saw that one coming. Coming back in the ring. Some intimidation tactics from the Sandman. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Sandman has him hooked. Final driver. Orton is in big, big trouble. The cover. Powers out. What an incredible match we are witnessing. Sure what they're thinking. Straight impact on the throat. This could do it. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, the Sandman. This goes down as a loss for Randy Orton. It looks like Randy's beside himself here. Not quite sure where he went wrong. Yeah, this isn't exactly the result any of us expected out of the Apex Predator. Well, here comes a man who calls himself one of the two most handsome creatures on the earth. It's actually three because you neglected to include me. I think you're actually delusional. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Pretty Deadly from Gray's England, weighing in at 172 pounds, one half of the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince. Lives in his own conceited, vain world. That might be your perception, Michael Cole, but the reality is Elton Prince carries himself like the star he really is. The big red monster could smash him into oblivion. What does this superstar have to do to stop that from happening?
I tell you, I bet there's a lot of NXT superstars back there with a little trepidation going on, a little nervousness knowing that Kane has entered the NXT arena. Possibly one of the most eccentric superstars in WWE these days, Elton Prince certainly seems more focused on fashion than function at times. Don't let Prince fool you, Michael. There's a lot of talent under that good-looking exterior. While his cunning tactics might be underhanded at times, he knows how to handle himself in the ring. We'll just have to see if Prince is able to prove himself here tonight. Yeah, and Kane said his opponent has forgotten who WWE's true monster is. And he'll remind him by doing the devil's work. When you stand across the ring from Kane, you are getting a frightening glimpse of hell on earth. Ooh. Oh, short knee right to the body. Prince saw that was coming. And he's able to fight Kane off. Forearm after forearm, vicious attack. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Big oh. impact. Snapmare takedown. Oh my, single leg drop kick. He'd ever even considered the strategy, but if Kane can just keep his cool here and maintain his patience, he could have this one in the bag. Keeping cool and patient, huh? Have you met Kane? And that was an effective attack, guys. Now he's been put on the defensive. Nice clothesline. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh my goodness. Oh God, that hurt. God. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Snapmare takedown. Oh my, single leg drop kick. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Vicious, downright savage club right there. I don't think Kane expected that kind of destruction to come his way. Unhinged offense from Elton's wondrous arsenal. Going way up high. From way up. Look out below. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Big knee buys him some time. into the ring post. And he kicks his opponent away. And back in the ring we go. Oh, look at the squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Quickly to cover. Attempt. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Snapmare takeover. Followed by. Expected that one. Pulled back into the hip toss. Oh, he's been waiting for him the whole time. He forces a break before the count of two. Not even a near fall there. Elton evades that one. Oh my god. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Coming down with a leg drop. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, oh, right in the face. My god. Punch connects. And he's 
able to reverse. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. I oh, able to counter. Kane with some good timing here. The better part of Valor. He'll head to the ring. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. He's got. But Bear Hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the Bear Hug. He's looking a little weary now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Elton creates an opening for himself. Boot. No way Kane is going to recover from that. You know, I don't think things we're going to go this far first. I mean, finally ends it. And all the bloodshed, perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Elton Prince. Kane finding himself somewhat on the bottom of the food chain after this loss. A loss like this is only going to make Kane's fury even worse. And we know what happens when Kane's at his boiling point. Tegan Knox looking ready for a fight. Yeah, she wants to show this crowd what she can do. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Tegan showing that she really knows how to get aggressive. Vicious even. Yeah, Knox proves the old adage that it's all about the size of the fight in the dog. I can tell Tegan is itching to start throwing some punches and kicks. Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing. They've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Dominance, thy name is Damage Control.
Tegan Knox is someone to really admire. She's got that hunger, that drive that you really need in this business. She's always willing to put everything she has into this, and that really shines through in her matches. That drive of Knox can really serve her well here in this match. But Io Sky is clearly focused on the task at hand, and that task is always the same. Win. Sure, she knows how to impress the WWE Universe with her in-ring ability, but that's never been the point for her. Doing whatever it takes to win, that's the point. By any means necessary, there is no road Sky won't take to get the win. Hey, elbow drop. Piercing. Lands an elbow. And she denies Knox. Watch out! Across the ring with a bulldog. You know, Cole, Tegan Knox is a well-liked superstar backstage, but don't let that fool you. She can get just as gritty and dangerous as the next superstar. Knox's kindness outside the ring and sportsmanship inside the ring has sometimes given her opponents a false sense of security. You can never let your guard down with a competitor like her. And a series of vicious stomps. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Just a barrage of stomps. Attack after attack on target. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Ooh, what a forearm club. Return fire from Io. Stiff elbow will break that up. Scooped up. Fall away slam with the bridge. <laughs> this is just brute power. Release German. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Ouch. Caught her. Sent into the corner. Double knees, good night. The volatile essence of Sky paying off with soaring. Moonsault connects. EO might have put an end to this. There's two. EO Sky gets the win. knocked down a peg with this defeat. You have to hand it to Io. She is second to none, and she just proved it again. Just admit it, every one of us has a price. The following champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NXT UK champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted.
Well, be on high alert because the results of this match might be a little fishy. I wouldn't be surprised if the Million Dollar Man paid off the referee. Well, Saxon, I happen to have a handful of Benjamins that say that you're lying. The Million Dollar Man is used to getting his way, and those who oppose him will pay dearly. Yeah, DiBiase just doesn't want to win. He wants to bankrupt his opponents. Here comes the assassin of the OC, Carl Anderson. Anderson looks angry, focused, and ready for vengeance. And his opponent, representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, one half of the world tag. The machine gun returned to WWE fully loaded. Anderson was still a top champion in Japan when he rejoined WWE. And now he's ready to take even more titles in WWE as well. Plenty of aggression, determination on the face of Anderson. If you're standing across the ring from him, that's just too bad. Here we go with the Million Dollar Man in the ring, a superstar who claims that everybody has a price. The Million Dollar Man has spent his career using fat stacks of cash to get his way in this industry. Well, hopefully tonight he has to really put his money where his mouth is because I think a lot of people are tired of how he seems to always get his way and avoid consequences. You might just get your wish, Byron. He's going to have to face this confrontation head on. But he better not be looking past the machine gun because that's exactly the kind of thing that'll come back to bite you. When the money's right and the lights are bright, Carl Anderson certainly ain't no slouch. Everyone. Oh, oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Figure four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. out of there in a nick of time. Counter on Anderson pays off. Snapmare takeover. Fist drop. Way to steer clear. Leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. Placing them into the corner, and all the money in the world couldn't get DiBiase out of harm's way there. Yeah, and Anderson proved his mean streak is a mile wide with that attack. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He's run out of ringside and back to the mat. And he's pulled the ring apron up looking under there for something. Bibiase laying down... He grew tired of his smug attitude. DDT! Oh! Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. I think we know what's coming next. Here we go. Dropping the ball. Strike to the back. Knee lift! 
Things now not going well for Carl. DiBiase cannot be stopped right now. we we'll starting start out a few short. Uh oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Figure four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. What a driver. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Bringing a steel chair into play here. A uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. They need to be aware of a count out right now. How's that for a counter? He's back into the ring. Barely made. The sleeper is sick. In trouble here. Oh, what a great counter. That'll break it up. Strong punch to the midsection. Say goodnight. Oh, the million dollar dream is in. An extreme amount of pressure. Time to start dreaming. No. Oh, DiBiase with great awareness. Look at that. Boom, nice. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. It's like I always say, he who has the sledgehammer had the last laugh. Down on the ground, getting pummeled by that hammer. It's real dangerous when Anderson gets going like this. DiBiase needs to rethink his strategy. And dropping the fist. Not done yet. Make it twice. Oh, a third time. And this is it. It's over. Million dollar man wins. Here is your winner. The million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. And the million dollar Once again, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, shows that greed in any form is good. You should take notes, Saxton. Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, 
Seth Freaking Rollins! Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. Yeah, now we're talking. And his opponent, from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT Champion, Adam Cole! The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. You gotta be aware of Rollins' mean streak. It's ruthless and long. Rollins will do whatever it takes to win, and this superstar has got to have the same mindset. Few superstars love basking in the cheers of the WWE Universe like Seth Rollins. Seth believes he deserves the adoration of the crowd and their chance drive him in the ring. I don't think anyone would be wrong to call Rollins eccentric or an egomaniac, but even I have to admit, he really is as good as he claims. Rollins has made a career out of proving that he belongs at the top of this industry. With the WWE Universe behind him, I don't see that changing anytime soon. And across the ring is a superstar with nothing to lose and everything to gain. Respectfully, Byron, that's nonsense. This is as high risk a move as it gets. You lose a non-title match to the champ, you can kiss an opportunity at the title goodbye for the foreseeable future. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. He's one step ahead there. Poised and ready to strike. Able to interrupt the attack. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Oh, my goodness. There's the... He's getting a little battered now. Furious offense from Rollins. His temper's flaring right now. Planning on what to do next. Oh, my goodness. Ouch. Boom. Rollins escaping danger. Driven into the barricade. What now? Foot right to the belly. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're up high. Whoa, look out. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Corey, you've been in the ring against him before. How do you tackle a brilliant tactician like Seth Rollins? Well, hindsight's 2020, but you do it by playing spoiler, Cole. You have to do everything you possibly can to disrupt Rollins' plans to get him off balance. No strategies, totally surefire. So you have to find the holes in Rollins' machinations. Top rope, here we go! Flying! Rough landing. He gets out of the way. Off the ropes. Oh, running knee strike. Seth retaliates. Oh, missed 
you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, Seth with a potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. Ooh, bang! Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking. Oh, trying to stop and got hit by an RKO. Escaped just in time. His shoulders are down. Major, major win. That'll change his career tonight. Here is your winner. Seth freaking Rollins. Seth Rollins once again standing victorious. Congrats to Seth freaking Rollins. Job well done. I don't think there was ever a doubt in Seth's mind that this would be the outcome. The Texas Rattlesnake looks ready to hunt. Now oh, buckle up, we are about to see a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve. A working class hero for the ages. Anti-authority from the very beginning. Any boss's worst nightmare. On a mission tonight, and no one can stand in his way. to Roman Reigns, now The Rock himself stepping foot inside the NXT ring. an immense amount of momentum behind him. Yeah, and you can see that he's dead set on re... 
One of the greatest rivalries in the history of our industry reignited as Stone Cold Steve Austin battles The Rock. Two superstars that many people thought would never lace them up again. Both since returned to action. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have chills. These two have written their names in WWE history and left their marks on this business. They have nothing left to prove or accomplish. Gentlemen, this is just about pride. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Paying it right back with a reversal. These two trading one blow after another. Slugging away with everything they've got. The fight is on, and it's furious. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes each exchange just sucking the energy from these two. He's lost in setting in, and not one of them is ready up. Total, total, treating each other like heavy bags. Running knee! Will this be enough? Getting the shoulder up before two. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Looks like The Rock is locked in on it. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. A match of this caliber is almost like determining the king of the jungle. How does the Texas Rattlesnake bring down the Brahma Bull? Rock and Austin are both great brawlers, but Stone Cold can flip the switch and become a technician. If he can tame the Brahma Bull on the mat, it could lead to a Stone Cold stunt. Can he do it here? The Rock sent him up. The Rock up looking for the victory. Two count. He kicks out somehow. What a kick out by Austin. You can never count the rattlesnake out. Guys, even The Rock can't believe it. He thought that was that. Now the Brahma Bull is left searching for answers. Manages to fight out with a series of punches. Cobra Clutch. Got it cinched in. Fading fast. Oh, and the Russian leg sweep. Just breaking down the opponent. Austin building up speed. Elbow right to the heart. Stella on the mark. Offense from Austin. Once again relying solely on himself and succeeding tremendously. Looking for a high risk, high reward. From the top. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. An absolutely terrible landing ringside. Oh, countering with a chop block will halter any attack. Quick return to the ring. Looks like The Rock is feeling it. And he's taking this to the outside now. Uh, he has the answer for The Rock. Man, stiff kick. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Stone Cold with his trademark offense. And The Rock just can't keep up with Austin's pace. He moves just in time. Into the DDT. What grace. Off the post. The ref still counting, might be a count out. The Rock trying to ramp things up. Really pushing the limit there. As long as you're aware, use as much of the ref's count as you want. Ooh, right to the throat. Deconstructing the knee there. Shifts it back. To him. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Stone Cold is in bad shape right now. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. From the top. Through the air. And connects. They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Spine on the pie. 
Brilliant placement. Brilliant timing. The Rock was right on the money. Austin with a reversal. He isn't taking this lying down anymore. Austin trying to bring the fight back in this one. Oh! Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Stone Cold in some serious trouble. Tough spot, even for the Rattlesnake. Denied with an elbow. Austin is going to look to press on the advantage. Could be what he needed to ignite a rally. And dropping bombs. Now it also looks like The Rock is bleeding after that exchange. We've seen Rock and Austin take each other to the limits. Tonight is proving no different. I've got chills. I never thought we'd see this again. And there's the cover. Kicks out after one. Wow, I thought for sure that was it. Kick gets caught. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. Oh, what for? Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Austin with a stunner. Stone Cold with a stunner. There won't be any coming back for The Rock now. And a kick out. No one saw that. Okay, this crowd just got the hairs on their arms raised as the most electrifying man in all of entertainment is still in this. Anger is starting to show in the face of Austin. I think the Rattlesnake will do anything to close this out. Not a step ahead of the Rock. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, my. Set fly. You can't take much more of this. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. From the top, Dobby double axe handle. Packed crowd on their toes. This is what it is all about. He deflects it right back. Big back body drop. What elevation. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Austin fends him off. And like applying a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Austin with the stunner. Austin got all of it. The cover. Oh, what a big celebration and a massive win tonight. Hard fought victory, incredibly physical matchup, but earned the right to celebrate here tonight. Wait, this is more fun than celebration. Oh, this from behind. More fun. This is classless. Oh, steel steps. Come on. is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring. The, the Queen of Spades! South Dakota. And the next to me.
classic bruiser brutality catch style wrestling skill. Yeah, years of training has led to singles and tag team success here in WWE. No doubt one of the most dangerous women you'll find in the entire division. A purveyor of discount dental work under the WWE umbrella. Here comes a woman with a lot of hardware to her name. And from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion, and the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. She fought with every ounce of her being, and the two titles she's carrying are proof of that. Proof of every ounce of fight she has in her being. Proof she's twice as good as everyone else. She is going to be in for a grueling fight against the Queen of Spades. I doubt this woman can win the hand she's been dealt tonight. And with all the big names in WWE, here's Charlotte Flair, a woman who is in a class all her own. Legacy, natural ability. Cover! Two count! And she kicks out at two. Wow. Just insulting. No respect at all with that action. But it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. She turns it right around with a counter. Baszler turns it around. Corey, what would you say Charlotte needs to do to come out on top tonight? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Charlotte's accomplishments in WWE run a mile long, and that's because of everything she brings to the ring. Her athleticism, her nastiness, her aggression. She's always a dominant force because of those traits. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, crushing the knee here. What a counter against Shayna. Side coming. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. And now gets tossed into the ring. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. is the edge of the knee. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Oh, my God. Oh, a backbreaker. Right to the spine. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Target in the arm now. Figure four! Submission is in! Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Here's her with the kick. And a gut wrench suplex. Oof! Raw power from the submission magician, and she's not done yet. Another! Got the underhook. Bang! 
Scratching and clawing. This could be it. And she fights it off. She just won't stay down. Well scouted by Baszler. Thorough smash. She's taking some big hits here. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. We've seen the conflicts between them, and it seems like they're not ready to bury the hatchet yet. Yeah, Carl, I don't think this one's going to be settled with polite words. Climbing up to the top now. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Oh, look out. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Catches the kick. Oh, man, right on the jaw. That'll ruin your day. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Catches the kick into a dragon screw leg win. Ah, Baszler, so devastating. Stop right to the arm. Oh, break it on. Ah, Charlotte caught. Shayna Baszler. Up and up. Submission locked in. Good night. Baszler. My, look, look at this, Corey. Look at this. Finding her way out. How did she break that hole? Spectacular. Ah, uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Oh, Baszler setting her up, looking for it. Carafuna clutch. This one's over. This is over. Tap out time. Oh, my goodness, critical. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. They're stretching oh. out the knee. A lot of damage being done here. And an elbow, too. Into the cover. Oh. And a victory. What a win she picks up here tonight. Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. An unfortunate loss for Charlotte Flair. Baszler proving once again she really is the baddest now.